Here we present the top 5 best audio interface. Starting of our listed number 5, Apple G Ensemble Thunderbolt 2. When it comes to professional audio gear, you're basically looking for a couple of things. Great audio and build quality, reliability, and a constant and pleasant workflow. Let's see how exactly the ensemble from Apogee ticks all of those boxes. As with most Apple-centered devices, do have in mind that the price is going to be pretty high. For a few grand, you're definitely getting a high-quality device. The interface feels very well built, it's sturdy and all of the buttons and knobs feel premium and precise. The front of the ensemble hosts two direct instrument inputs, with their own dedicated outputs below them. This means you can easily route the signal through the interface, while simultaneously sending it through the outputs to an amp. Selecting the actual input is done via two rows of buttons on the right of the two inputs, with handy OLED visualizers for both the input and output level. The levels are adjusted on the fly with two large knobs. The rest of the front panel is made simple, with only four assignable buttons, as well as two separate headphone outputs and level control for each of them. For more information and price, check out the product links in description, underneath the video. Coming in at number 4 of our list, Focusrite Scarlett 18i20. We've seen that the good folks at Focusrite know how to cater to the needs of a beginner audio engineer with a tight budget. The Scarlett 18i20, with its numerous inputs and outputs, and overall amazing performance, focus on more advanced studio needs. As it's pretty clear when you look at the picture, this model is what is called a rack interface. Though it's pretty short, the width makes it kind of impractical for desk use, so consider getting an actual rack to mount it on. The front panel, while pretty long, is extensive, yet simple enough so you don't get lost in the buttons and knobs. Only two of the eight combined analog inputs are on the front, while the rest are tucked away in the back. The controls cover level for all of the analog channels, with separate 48V boost for either the first or last four channels, when they are used with condenser microphones. On the right-hand side of the front panel, there is a neat LED visualizer, letting you know the levels of the individual channels in dB, so you can easily tell if any one of them is clipping or not, without having to actually look at your computer screen. The rest of the controls include dim and mute buttons, a monitor level knob, as well as two headphone outputs, each with its own level control. Halfway of our listed number 3, Pre-Saunas Studio 192-26X32. After reading about Focusrite Scarlett 18i20, you'd think that there's hardly a better option than it, at least in that or the neighboring price range. However, Studio 192 by Presonus offers a slightly different approach which will definitely appeal to at least a portion of the reading audience. The front panel while a bit more simple, definitely still gives you full control over the many inputs and outputs this device can handle. As expected, there are two easy-to-reach combined inputs on the left, followed by a small screen which gives you more info about the currently selected channel or preset. Going further to the right side, there is an array of LEDs that show you the exact level of each individual channel, and whether they're clipping or not. A big yet very precise dial is used for setting the main level, and the smaller two knobs are used for adjusting the individual headphone levels for each of the two outputs. Number 2 of this list. Behringer Euphoria UMC 202 HD. The Euphoria by Behringer is a great alternative to the previously mentioned Focusrite Scarlett 2i2. For half the price, you'll be getting that well-known Behringer quality, both in terms of build and the actual audio. While the price difference is relatively big, I will still try to compare it to the Scarlett 2i2, as there are not many other audio interfaces this cheap are worth mentioning and comparing to. This device is slightly smaller than the Scarlett, making it a perfect choice for anyone with an already crammed desk. You can even take the Euphoria with you when you travel, as it's completely powered through the USB connection, and is very well built. The front interface offers a similar experience to the one you'd get with the Scarlett 2i2. Two combined TRS-XLR inputs on the left alongside separate line instrument and pad toggle buttons, as well as game controls. What's really neat is that there are two LEDs for each channel as well, letting you know if the channel is active or not and whether they're clipping. And coming in at number 1 of our list, Focusrite Scarlett 2i2. Focusrite is a brand that is well known for its high-quality studio equipment, with models ranging from entry-level to professional. 
Their Scarlett 2 i2 audio interface offers an easy and straightforward approach to recording audio for everyone looking to make their own home studio. Being on a relatively tight budget doesn't mean you have to sacrifice quality and productivity, and the Scarlett 2 i2 clearly shows that with its specs and features. Starting with the compact form factor and small footprint, you can fit the Scarlett pretty much anywhere. Although it's small, it definitely can pack quite a punch. The front panel hosts two combined TRS XLR inputs, which is more than enough for recordings two instruments, or a vocal and an instrument simultaneously. Each of the inputs has a separate switch for toggling between mic instrument mode, as well as a gain knob for on-the-fly adjustments. Besides that, there is a switch for turning the direct monitor on and off, a big monitor level knob, as well as a headphone output with its dedicated level control. For more information and price, check out the product links in description, underneath the video. Thank you for watching, please subscribe our channel, share this video and hit the like button.